Hey there! In this video I will show you all the most beautiful things that you can do in the charming town of Villa da Furnas in São Miguel Azores Island. Number 1. Caldera da Furnas It's a popular tourist spot. It's free of charge and open all the time. These calderas are basically small rainwater ponds that formed inside the craters of a dormant volcano after its last eruption in 1630. When rainwater accumulates in these craters and mixes with the nearby magma, it gets heated to very high temperature and this creates these fu fumaroles, which are holes from which gases and vapors escape. It's basically the same phenomenon that creates hot springs, with the difference that in the hot springs you can actually, like, swim. And, uh, and also the fumaroles release gases with a very strong sulfur smell. Don't worry, I will take you to see some hot springs later on. Get a delicious local snack at the Cafeteria Bolo Levados, at only 5 minutes walking distance from the Caldera da Furnas. Number three, Fossa Satia Silvina is located in, uh, in the center of the town and not many people know about it. It's basically a hot spring, but it's very small, just to dip your feet. Continue to watch the video and see how to make the most of it. Dip your feet in the hot water, 60 degree hot. Go slower than me than I did because I, I'm here for a I've been here for a quite a while so my my body temperature got used to it and then after a couple of minutes you switch to the river and oh cool down this is so cool Number four, Terra Nostra Garden. Oh, finally we have arrived at the real hot springs, one of the most popular in San Miguel. They are located inside a beautiful park with river, ponds and botanical gardens in the middle of Furnas town. It's open every day from 10.30 to 4.30 p.m. and the entrance is $11. With one ticket you can stay all day inside the garden and enjoy the hot springs and a walk in the park. Actually, the park belongs to the hotel uh, Terra Nostra. It's a luxury hotel, so if you're ready for a treat, uh, you can just stay in the hotel and enjoy the beautiful premises and the hot springs. Also, when the garden is close to the public, uh, which is a nice perk. Number five, Miraduro Vista do Valle. It's a uh, small lookout point, still worth visiting, uh, just outside uh, uh, Villa da Furna. At only 10 minutes drive from the town of Furnas, you will find Furnas Lake, packed with so many sites to explore and things to do. Here we are at the entrance of the Cappella de Nossa Senora das Victorias. In the Mata Jardim, José do Canto. For only $4, you can explore this beautiful, well-conserved private garden and venture out in a 40-minute easy hike all the way to the waterfall Salto de Rosal. Don't worry, because almost the entire trail is flat and well marked.
After a short drive around the lake, you will find other calderas called Calderas de la Goa da Furnas. Nearby, for $7, you can get inside the Grena Park uh, and Waterfall for another beautiful hike. The park is open from 9.30 to uh, 5.30 and you can pay your entrance uh, at a machine uh, right at the entrance uh, that uh, it also accepts credit cards. You have to get ready now because this is a strenuous hike. Uh, well, at least it was for me and I believe for everybody who is not uh, uh, like very well trained uh, or if you're not used to, if you haven't been doing exercise for a while, it can be very strenuous but beautiful. It's not very long, but it's very steep. Um, however, you will, you will be rewarded with amazing views surrounded by the sound of nature. It's really, really, extremely beautiful and uh, all worth the effort. Um, make sure you bring water with you and um, consider that 70% of the path is made of wooden steps. Um, and this trail is uh, well marked uh, as well, so you don't have uh, any chance to get lost. I made it to the waterfall. It said it was like 630 steps. I'm not sure, but it was hard. And with a headache, even worse. But I'm happy because I didn't give up and I'm here now. And now it's all going down, super easy. to the waterfall and uh, going on the other side if I was if it was earlier I would have done it the entire trail but it's too late and I'm super tired so I just want to go back Right in front of the entrance of the Grana Fall, you can find uh, a lot of kayaks um, that you can rent uh, and uh, go kayaking uh, around for National Pico da Ferro, a beautiful lookout point just above Village da Furnas with amazing views. If you have time, you can take a walk behind the souvenir shop uh, on an easy trail. Pico do Cavallo, last but not least, one of the most spectacular lookout point in São Miguel, of course, uh, after the Miraduro da Grotta do Inferno, unbeatable. And that's a wrap, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, I'm gonna leave you with uh, uh, some of the pictures I took uh, in this uh, uh, last uh, stop of my trip in uh, uh, Villa da Furnas. And if you love this video and you want to see what's coming next, please click on the subscribe button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Bye now.